What's going on guys? Uh, this is a continuation of the, the first video on extracting HTML tables from the ESPN site. So in this video we will concentrate on um, extracting all seven pages from the assist uh, table. Let me just go back to the page we were on. All right. Uh, there's seven pages. We were, we were able to extract the first page, but there's still uh, seven pages, uh, six pages remaining. So now we're trying to get an idea of how we can extract the rest of the pages. So one thing we can do is um, go to the next page. All right. So if you go to the next page, let's look at how the, um, the uh, let's see how the URL changes. So in this case, the URL, the only thing, the only change I'm seeing is this count and 41. So let's go back to page one. So page one, there's no count and there's no number. So uh, going to the next page adds, uh, adds this count and adds 41. So let's just grab this and um, you know, I'm just going to paste it here. So let's go back to the, to the website and now we're going to see what happens with page three. So let's go to page three. Okay, so it's 81. So page three is 81, page two is 41. So it, it seems to be incrementing by uh, 40. So 81 to 121. So, so each page is just adding 40 uh, to this number. So, okay, so we see a pattern here and uh, 271 seems to be pointing to the total amount of results. So we can also keep this in mind. Now, one thing I wanna check is, okay, we go to the first page um, it seems that there is no count um, added to this URL when we go to the first page so I'm curious sometimes um, because sometimes you can add something like count which is available for the rest of the pages but not for the first page and sometimes the website still works so let's just uh, we're going to add count to this URL and then uh, let's try it out so even if we add count, it seems the first page is still uh, fully functional. Uh, we seem to be adding 40. So how about we try out uh, count backslash 1? Because that would just make everything easier. If we have a uh, count backslash 1, we can just add 40 to each page until we get to uh, the last page. So um, which is, I guess, uh, 271. So let's just first try uh, count 1. All right, so count one seems to be working. So we could actually just uh, increment from count one all the way up to what seems to be 271. All right, extracting. So let's just uh, add this URL and let's go back to ESP Insight and let's just try, uh, curious, let's just try 271 and see what happens. Okay, so 271 seems to be the last page, uh, page seven over seven. So I guess the 271 results um, is in fact the uh, 271 players. So our, so our goal is to increment by 40 till we get to 271. Okay, all right, so, so let's see what we want to do. Uh, the first thing we want to do is add a count, of course, because even the first page is functional if you insert the count. Now what we're going to have to do is add a number but this number is uh, incrementing by 40. So in this case, the best tool that we have is um, using string formatting. And we can actually create a variable called num that will also, uh, that will also increment uh, plus 40. So I'm thinking we can do something like uh, num equals 1. So we're initializing a variable num with the uh, value 1. And then what we can do is um, use string formatting here. Uh, dot format num. So we're going to keep the headers the same. Now we actually don't need this. Yeah, we don't need this as well. So I'm going to get rid of this. And so let's see. We'll probably have to create some sort of um, while loop. What we'll say is uh, while number is less than 271 or or less than 272. While num is less than 272 and what we want to do is um, uh, we're going to use this URL 
uh, copy this. Uh, so the URL equals that. And um, so now we're going to make a get request. So this will be response equals request dot get. Um, we'll have the URL and uh, we'll use the headers. Um, let me just make sure, okay, that we do have the headers. Okay, we have headers, num, all right. So let me just run these for the time period. Okay, for the time being. All right, so uh, we don't need this. I'm gonna get rid of this, okay. So response equals request dot get. So now what we want to do is we want to make sure, uh, it's gonna be a little trickier because we're going through many pages. So we wanna make sure that each response, uh, the status code of each response is 200. So, so what we can do is if uh, response dot status, uh, status code equals 200, then we'll uh, uh, parse the page. Soup, uh, soup equals beautiful soup uh, response dot content and uh, we will just go with HTML parser. So we're going to use the same parser, beautiful soup. Uh, we've done this code. Uh, we've written this code many, many times. So we're going to parse the code and then we'll find the table. So we'll do the same thing as last time. Stat a table equals soup I find all uh, a table equals table and then a class equals a table, a table head, a table head. Right. Um, so response status equals 200. That means we found the web page. So we're going to um, parse it with beautiful soup. We'll extract the tables and we want to create everything uh, onto the uh, text file that we created. So we use the same uh, with basket, uh, basketball of stats.txt. So uh, w as r. Okay. And that's the same thing as last time for row in stat table dot find all uh, tr for row for cell for row dot find all tb. So same thing as a uh, last time for cell in such as this. Uh, r dot write cell dot text dot l just by uh, 22. Okay. And then we have to write a new line um, for cell in row dot find all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much the same thing. Um, the only thing we're changing is we're putting everything in a while loop. And of course, we're going to uh, use this if response code equals 200 to make sure that we're getting the page. So let's just print an else statement here. Else, if the response code is not, let's print um, uh, no response. And then um, we'll print a uh, num as well to let us know uh, what the number is because we plan to increment the number by 40 each round. So that's another thing we need to do right now. So where should we increment the number? All right, so we can actually increment it um, after making the get request. Let's see. Oh, actually, we just printed outside of both of these if and else statements. Um, here we go. Num plus equals 40. All right, so this should work. All right, so we have our while loop. We have the if statement. Okay, uh, let's just break this code down one more time. All right, so we have the while loop. While num is less than 270, we have the URL. So let's see. So we have the count statement and we're using formatting. So this should be no problem. Um, why doesn't this work? Okay, there we go. Maybe I should just, um, yeah, let me just fix this. Let's see. Something like this should work, okay. Yeah, so this should work. Yeah, so adding this backslash, it's sort of like a break and lets the rest of the code continue on the next line. All right, so this will just make everything easier for you guys to read. All right, so the URL is going to use formatting that's going to update by 40. So the num is going to update by 40 each uh, iteration. So we get the response. If the response is good, we'll, we'll grab everything, we'll write it. If not, uh, we'll print no response and we'll print the num number and no matter what, even if you have the if statement or the else statement, whichever path the um, iteration goes through, doesn't matter. At the end, uh, we'll add 40, and then this uh, the loop will start again. So this looks good, okay. So now there's only one problem here. Um, and the problem is, I'm not sure if you guys caught it, but here we go, with open this, what happens here is that each time, um, we're actually overriding our, our previous content. So it's almost like a list where each loop, you're initiating the list. Everything is sort of getting overwritten. So in this case, we need to append. 
So we need to change this W to uh, append. By changing to append, what we do is we're adding, we're adding to the uh, to the previous um, contents of the text file. So instead of overriding, we're adding. But the problem with appending is, if we run this loop uh, many, many times, what's going to happen is it's going to continue to append to the uh, basketball stats text. So what we want to do is, um, in this notebook, we somehow want to, uh, anytime we run this notebook, we want to make sure that we start off with a, a clean text file. If we don't start off with a clean text, text file, we'll continue to append. So say we run this once, we'll uh, append it, but say we run this again, we'll append it to the end of the, um, of the 272 entries. So what's going to happen is the 272 entries is going to append again, and then the next time we run this loop, it's going to append again, append again, append again. So what we want to do is, before we start the loop, we want to make sure we uh, run something that uh, creates a new text file. So let's see. So to fix that problem, what we can do is, uh, we can create our text file outside of this um, outside of this while loop. So we can use the same uh, title, which was uh, basketballstats.txt, and here we will use write um, w for write as r. And what we want to write here, we could just give us give it a title instead of leaving it blank or. Uh, writing something we don't need, we could actually give this a title, which um, in this case we're pulling the assist table. So uh, basketball, we can say something like basketball assist assist uh, table, and maybe we'll just add a new line. Okay, a new line. All right. So basketball assist table. So what this does is it's sort of creating a title, a header. And it's also preventing the tables to be continuously appended. All right, so everything looks good. Um, so everything looks good. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is, let me just make sure. Um, okay, so this was our, our previous basketball stats TXT, this notepad. And as you can see, we only have the first 40 uh, players. So let's just close this, and now we're going to see if this uh, actually extracts all 272 players. So we're going to run this. All right, so that's, this is our first invalid syntax. All right, we're probably going to have a bunch of these. All right, let's just run this again. Result object has no attribute find all. All right, let's see. Result object. Yes, of course. I forgot to put the uh, stat table. I forgot to make a uh, stat table equals uh, stat table zero. Let's see. Yeah, so I forgot to do that. Actually, we can actually, what we should do is um, we want to make sure the stat table is less than two. The length of the stat table is less than two or else we'll have problems because then we, we will be, uh, there's a chance we might pull out the wrong table. Yeah, if this, so I guess we'll just continue only if the uh, length of table is less than two. Let's see, else, uh, uh, I could print something like print too many tables. So this will give us a heads up if, if there are indeed too many tables. Okay, if, okay, then we'll just do the num plus 40. Okay, so this looks good. Well, let's just run this again. Okay, it seems to be running, and all right, it seems like we got everything really quickly. So let's check. Let me check. Okay, basketball stats. Let's just open this. All right. So it seems like we got nothing. Why do we get nothing? Ah. So, yeah, there's another mistake here. I put uh, basketball stats text. All right. So let's just get rid of this. Okay, let's just run this one more time. Okay, it seems to be running no it's not running ah, I see so one thing we have to be careful of is since we've ran this so many times let's just uh okay so num is 281 so I have to make sure that I actually why don't we just put everything in this cell so this will actually reset uh, num to back to one every time we run this code all right so I'm going to run it actually um, before I run it 
Another thing you have to be careful of when you're extracting a lot of web pages, you don't want to abuse the website. In this case, uh, we're extracting a lot of information uh, pretty quickly. So what you want to do is you actually want to slow it down a little bit because you don't want to overburden their servers uh, and things like that. So it's always good to, to do it at times when the servers are not too busy and uh, you always want to have pauses in between uh, each scrape. So in this case, uh, let me just import time. Uh, okay, I did import time. Okay, so let's see. We want to add time.sleep before we uh, do the uh, get request. So time.sleep, uh, one second should be enough. And uh, num plus 40. Okay, so everything looks good now. Let's just run this. Okay, it's running, it's running, it's running. All right, so this is a good sign because it's still running. All right, let's see, no errors. Okay, I'm going to check basketball stats and no results available on selected criteria. That is a strange response. Okay, let's see. Let me just print the URL. Hmm. So apparently this is the problem. Uh, let me just get rid of this and see. Okay. Let's just, uh, let's run it now. So the URL should be fixed. Okay. And let's see, okay. So let's just run this one more time. All right, so it's running, it's running, it's running. All right, so it's, it's, it's done scraping. All right, let's check out basketball stats. And it looks like we finally got all the stats. Okay, let me check it out. So we got the first 31, 32. Uh, let's see, it goes from 15. I don't know if it's supposed to be skipping numbers, 9, you have the first 9, 11, 12, it's skipping 13, I'm not sure why. I don't know if this is supposed to be the layout, but um, let's just see, okay, 270 and 271. It seems like we've gotten all 271 players. Um, Alright, so yeah, so the numbers are in, indeed, uh, are jumping. Um, instead of uh, all the numbers being listed out. Okay, so that's not our problem. So, yeah. So, after all these little mistakes, um, we were finally uh, successfully able to extract all the uh, elements from uh, all seven pages. All right, so that's it for this video. I will see you guys next time.